as, as a medical doctor with first-hand experience uh, and knowledge about craniofacial deformities and craniofacial surgery, I can tell you for an absolute fact that the skull is real. It's not a fake. It's completely different from human in many, many ways. Uh, and I'm fascinated. I would really like to know what it is. But I know what it isn't. It isn't human. Well, I graduated from the University of Manitoba Medical School in 1963, so I've been a medical doctor for uh, over 50 years now, as of May. And um, after I graduated from medical school, I spent uh, two years of internship and general surgery uh, at the Winnipeg General Hospital and the Winnipeg Children's Hospital, uh, during which time, um, in addition to the surgery rotation, I spent time with Dr. Irene Uchida, who was a very prominent geneticist, and we were doing what at that time was groundbreaking work on uh, early recognition of genetic abnormalities in newborn infants and children. And um, after those years of uh, internship in general surgery, I did a further year of general surgery in Vancouver, and then five years of plastic and reconstructive surgery at the Mount Vernon Hospital in Mount Vernon, which is just outside of uh, London, England. So I had exposure to uh, all sorts of reconstructive work. Much of it was on the face. We were seeing a lot of patients with cleft lip and palate, which is a type of craniofacial abnormality, as well as uh, more uncommon abnormalities. During that five years, I had the great good fortune of spending time in the unit of Dr. Paul Tessier, who was um, doing a revolutionary new kind of uh, craniofacial surgery in Siren, which is near Paris, France. His unit was world-renowned, and he was seeing children and even, in some cases, adults with untreated craniofacial deformations uh, of every known type. And um, so I have a considerable knowledge of, of that sort of thing. I also spent time with Dr. Ian Jackson in Glasgow, uh, he went on to become a world-renowned craniofacial surgeon. I have an open mind when it comes to um, the whole question of uh, aliens and UFOs. Uh, I, I don't care to speculate. I like to base my opinions on scientific, scientific evidence. In that sense, I have absolutely no idea whether this being could have been telepathic I have no idea whether it, it is alien, uh, except in the sense that the DNA is different and not like anything that has ever been found on planet Earth. Dr. Robinson is one of the many experts who have examined the star child skull over the years and come to the amazing conclusion that it is not human. Visit starchildproject.com to learn more and to support the ongoing DNA testing that will prove this fact to the rest of the world.